Hey guys, so welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking to you about Bright. So I've been using Bright for over a month now, and I can tell you guys that it has saved my life. So as a medical student, or even if you're in high school, or even if you are in college, or anywhere, if you're at work, you know how hard it can get to stay on top of your things and stay organized. So I've been using this app to help me stay organized because it not only has one tool, but it has 20 tools in one app. So today we will be going through this website, I've been using the website version but it also has an iOS version which I'll talk to you guys about later but let's get started with the review. So you can see I'm on their website and this is where I utilize the service. So here when you log in, the page opens the calendar on today's date and on its right you can see all the various options you have. I'll just run through what's on my screen for you so that you have an idea and I'll explain more as we navigate. On the calendar, you can select the date and it will basically show you all the hourly goals so you can add something you'd like to do along with the time it's going to be at. Basically, you get to make a daily timetable for yourself and something I find very handy. And after you're done, you can click here and it will be marked off for the day. here on the top right we have habits so here for example I have read a book drinking water going for a job etc etc and like the goals in the calendar as you finish off your habit you can take it off you can also customize your own habits if you would like to but there is a wide variety of habits that we will go through later in this video under habits we have notes where you can jot down any ideas or thoughts which is basically anything if something comes to your mind at an instant under that we have quotes which basically gives you a quote for the day and as well as something different to read in between keeping up with all of your daily tasks. Then we have the diary. I'll show you various options we have to choose from and it's quite interesting because it helps you check in with yourself about your day and introspect but more on that soon. But here you can see on the screen an example uh, that I'm giving you here. Next is probably my favorite feature and it's called sounds. Basically you can play something soothing, sounds like rain etc. It's perfect for when I just want to relax or study or even when I'm cleaning. I just like playing one of these sounds in the background and get myself going. Then we have the finance section. This is like your little budgeting corner. You can list down all of your expenses you came across that day and your set. You can also put in your income or if you get some pocket money. This I find very helpful as a university student because you always need help with your finances and this helps with budgeting a lot. Then we have the Pomodoro Timer. This is so amazing and useful if you're a student like me or even if you're working or you have a report or task to finish up. This is one of the methods I use for studying where I get some work done for example for 25 minutes and then take 5 minutes off. I stretch my limbs and just move around. Sometimes I just snack a little get myself pumped up for the next session. And last but not least we have the weather app. So if you need to pop outside for a quick second, you can just check the temperature here and head on outside. So that's your dashboard, what you get off for a specific date that you click on your calendar. Now we are going to move on to the sidebar and see what more we have and how much more you can customize this app to suit your needs. Because the main screen is completely customizable, but you can also add and you can choose what features you want on the main screen, what features you don't want on the main screen. But the sidebar, it features all of the features that the website has to offer. So let's see. So first now we have my day which basically shows you everything you have set up in order for that specific day. Then we have tasks where you basically have the opportunity to separate and classify whatever you need to do under your personal, work or university or whichever category you want to sort or do you want to do your activities under. Notes basically you'll be able to see edit and add notes and whatever you add here will show up on your dashboard for that specific date under the heading or notes which I showed you guys earlier. 
here under projects you guys can add any projects that you have upcoming in your work or personal life we have this hide option that basically lets you decide whether you want to see the other features there or not so if you want a clean screen while working you can click here and the bottom half will be hidden and of course you can click on it again and everything will pop right back up then we have habits which is a more detailed view here what you can see on your dashboard is basically a widget form of this here you can add any habits and customize anything and there's insights which is kind of a blog and it is a various short interesting bits for you to read in between during your breaks or while just relaxing then we have the diary which is so much fun here you have various journals but basically in an electronic format they have these daily check-in questionnaires so it lets you have a little bit of introspection at the end of the day or even at the start of the day you start in a positive outlook and whatever you fill up will show up on the widget on your dashboard and also something i love about these questionnaires is that how they analyze your input and their scope sounds meditation etc which is very helpful because you have it all in one place up with meditation i absolutely enjoy this section here we have a bunch of different meditation formats available there's breathing exercise etc i love using this before i start a study session or sometimes just when i get overwhelmed by studying and helps me calm down a lot and center myself now the ideas section here you can mark down any and all ideas you have for any project we have etc I use this section to note down ideas for my YouTube video. Memories is another feature that's so fun here you can add pictures, descriptions for the same and kind of have your own scrapbook. The quote section that I showed you guys before and every day you get a new quote. Last but not least we have countdowns. This is good if you have any deadlines or exams coming up because you have it all set up. It will help you remind yourself and keep yourself updated on what needs to be completed before then. And this is all that we have on the sidebar. Now I'm going back to the dashboard and here on the top right you can see the add button. Here basically you can add these features. So here we have work goals, expenses etc. And we can just click on any of these and they will pop up and you can add anything you need to this section and right next to this add button we have these three dots where you click here basically lets you change the layout of the screen you can add your main screen you can add subtract widgets and customize your main screen according to your needs so we have a day view for a specific day you can switch it to a weekly mode where the entire week will be shown and you have a weekly plan all in one go i just want to share with you guys Three of my favorite features on the Byte app. The first feature that I love the most is Pomodoro Timer because as you guys know or as if you guys have been on my channel, I do a lot of videos where I study with the Pomodoro Timer so I love using that feature. Second feature that I love the most is the sounds feature. It allows me to listen to any ASMR sounds and I love listening to ASMR sounds when I'm studying. It helps me calm down and also helps me concentrate. The third feature that I love is the ideas feature because I love making YouTube videos so I write down a lot of YouTube ideas. If I have anything on my mind and I need to write it down, I use the Bright app, specifically the ideas feature and it's so helpful because I can just click and I can just see all of my ideas that I've written down over the past month or more than that. So guys, I've been using this app for some time now and enjoying it tremendously. It's so easy and convenient to have everything in one place and I can log into my account from my device. So if you have an iPhone or an iOS device, you can also use it on your notebook or your laptop, whichever you want to call it. And it is so convenient to have everything in one place, okay? I've been using the premium version, but even in the free, if you have the free version, this has so many of these benefits and it can make your life so much easier. And so if you're interested in try trying out bright, bright, I have an exciting offer for you all. They've given me a discount code to try out and I will get a good discount. So first to activate the code sign in on the web version of Bright, okay? You'll find the link in the description down below of this video or you'll also put the discount code on the screen if you want to use it, if you want to try out my code. 
and add the discount code in the add discount section okay uh, you can of course try it before you buy it and enjoy a three day free trial to see if bright is the right fit for you and if you do you'll lock in a full year subscription of 25 percent off and that's around 2.50 dollars per month and like i said earlier you can use bright in all of your devices even if you're signed in via the web version you can use it on your phone especially if you have an ios device and then enjoy bright if you guys do decide to try out Bright, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think, what you think about the iOS version, what you think about the website version. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching if you stayed so far. I love you all.